Here are six things you didn't know you could do with Final Cut Pro. Now, if you're like me, you probably thought Final Cut Pro is only for simple videos. So whether you're a beginner or a seasoned editor, I promise you'll find something you haven't tried before. Now, I'm going to reveal these six things that are used on major Hollywood hits and one hidden feature that isn't available in any manuals. With these features, not only will you be able to work faster and be better organized, but the quality of your video is going to shoot through the roof. Number one, edit everything. Final Cut Pro is video editing software made by Apple and has been used to edit YouTube videos to Hollywood hits and everything in between. Big YouTubers like Casey Neistat, Emma Chamberlain, and Logan Paul use Final Cut Pro to make their videos and get millions of views. Will Smith's Focus and Tina Fey's Whiskey Tango Foxtrot were made with Final Cut Pro and made over $170 million at the box office. Not bad. Can you imagine trying to edit a two hour feature film? In a bit, I'll show you how they used built-in tools to stay organized and pull off a seemingly impossible task. Number two, work faster and smarter. Hands down, the best feature of Final Cut Pro is the magnetic timeline. When you rearrange, edit, or trim your clips, the timeline magnetically adjusts clips to make room. This speeds up editing and gets rid of gaps, pileups, and sync problems you see with other lame timelines. I'm talking to you, Premiere Pro. The magnetic timeline sticks titles and audio to your clip, so when it moves, they move with it, and you don't have to hunt for and reconnect lost titles and dialogue. By the way, there's this cool trick you can do with the magnetic timeline that isn't in any manual. I'll show you in just a bit, but first I want to show you the next best feature, multicam editing. You can use Final Cut Pro to edit footage for multi-camera shoots or other synced footage in real time. For example, you shot a live concert or a wedding with four different cameras. You can sync the footage from each camera angle into a single multi-cam clip and cut between the angles quickly I've got the synced footage from a wedding and I'm ready to edit it. First, I'll select my clips, select new multicam clip, name it, and press OK. Now I have this clip I can add to my timeline and trim, move, or rearrange like any other clip. Next, open the angles viewer and play back the clip. As it plays, I can click on any angle and Final Cut will cut to that angle in the timeline. So fast! Number three, get organized. Final Cut has some great organization features to declutter your workflow. You can rate clips as favorites by selecting them and pressing F, and you can quickly see your favorites because they have a green line at the top. In the browser, change your clip filtering to favorites or press Control F, and now you can see all your favorite clips at once. If the clip makes you dry heave or gag, you can press the delete key to reject that disgusting clip and it will have a red line at the top. To hide your rejected clips, change your clip filtering to hide rejected or press control H. To see your rejected clips, change your clip filtering to rejected or press control delete. You can also add keywords to your clips and group them together in collections so you can quickly find related videos. Select a clip and click on the keyword button. Type your keyword, press return. Your clip will have a blue line at the top indicating that it has a keyword. To see your keyword groups, click on the arrow to the left of your vent and then select your collection. Once you've rated and organized your clips, you can quickly put together a rough edit by selecting your favorite clips and adding them to your timeline by pressing E. You can quickly arrange and organize your audio clips into lanes based on their audio type. For example, I have some dialogue, a voiceover, music, and some sound effects in this project. Right now they're all mixed together, but if I click the index button, then rolls, then show audio lanes, all my audio clips will be organized by their type. Remember the magnetic timeline? This next trick is one of my favorites and you won't find it in any manuals. I have a song that's about three minutes long, but I only need 30 seconds. I love to edit songs in the timeline. Sure, I could use GarageBand, Logic, or some other audio editing software, but Final Cut is so fast when it comes to trimming down a song. Check it out. Using the magnetic timeline, I can chop up this song, rearrange it, and delete sections to make a shorter version. Next, I'll turn it into a compound clip, and now I have a 30 second version of my song so fast. Are you ready to give Final Cut Pro a try? Has this video been helpful? If so, hit that like button so others can see this video. Thanks. Number four, make every effect special. Final Cut Pro comes with over 300 built-in titles, effects, and transitions. They're so easy to use. Check out this cool 3D text template that comes with Final Cut. I just drag and drop it to my timeline, and then I customize the text, font, and color. 
If these get boring, don't worry. I'll show you how to get extra titles, effects, and transitions in just a bit. You can add pro audio effects with Final Cut's built-in plugins and effects. You can reduce noise, correct pitch, add reverb, adjust EQs, and a ton more. Just like the titles, you drag and drop your effect onto your audio clip and then customize. Never sounded so sweet. You can retime clips, making them slower or faster. Let's make a cinematic slow motion effect. Select your clip, then click the retime button, hover over slow, and select a speed. For a buttery smooth slow mo, use a clip that has at least 60 frames per second. So you shot video in a low light and now it has a bunch of noise and grain in it. No problem, just add the noise reduction effect and customize. Now your clip looks clear. One of the coolest features is the built-in motion tracker. You can stick an effect, graphic, video, title to any part of your video. Drag and drop your title into the viewer area and select what you want to track with this box. Click Analyze and Final Cut will track the movement. That's so dope. Final Cut can stabilize your shaky footage. Select your clip, enable stabilization, and let Final Cut do its thing. It's already pretty stable but you can adjust these settings to get it just right. If the built-in titles, effects, and transitions become stale, you can extend Final Cut's power with third-party plugins like the ones I make at Stupid Raisins. You can add call-outs, logo animations, custom titles, and so much more. One of our most popular plugins is Slice Pop. With this, you can make animated split screens in just a couple clicks. If you want to check out my plugins, I put a link in the description for you. Number five, perfect your pixels. Final Cut features some advanced color grading tools like color boards, color wheels, color curves to balance colors, match clips, and get that cinematic look. Set your workspace to color and effects. Then select your clip, go to the color inspector, and add color wheels. Use the scopes on the left and adjust the shadows, midtones, and highlights to lock in that cinematic look, just like the movies. Number six, share everywhere. Now that your video is finished, it's time to share it with the world or just your grandma for some instant validation. You can export your video for YouTube or the big screen with a variety of professional export formats. You can also export a bunch of clips or projects at the same time with batch sharing. Just select the projects you want to export in the browser and then share. Now you can take that much needed coffee break. As you can see, Final Cut Pro is powerful video editing software and can do pretty much anything you throw at it. Now that you know that Final Cut Pro can do, you may want to check out this video my friend Reggie made called How to Set Up Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.